All right, we're with IFERS tonight, civil contracting group out of Melbourne, Australia. We're at the airport. This is a program to replace certain damaged areas of the taxiways, the tarmac, all the concrete paving on site. They bring their trucks, they bring their equipment, they bring everything on floats out to the work area. It's sock at the night before. They remove the concrete, they replace the concrete with high strength, fast curing mix and by morning, there's planes going over whether they were just working on. We just waited for an enormous plane, wide body aircraft, I think A350, to get out of the work area. And now we're going. All of these trucks are about to move out to the work area and the party's about to start. It's yeah, time. It's time to go. Is the trucks moving out now? Beautiful. They bolted on these plates to the first two sections to lift them out, but they only need that little area open and then the rest of it will be lifted by, pulled out by this grapple here and thrown into that truck. It's faster. Everything's about time. They need to get this done really, really quickly because they need this back open by morning. Just about done here, pulling the concrete out, loading the truck. Behind me, they're saw cutting for tomorrow's work. So they had saw cut this last night as they were working elsewhere. That saw cutting is going on and prepare for tomorrow. And then everybody else is preparing the equipment they need once these guys are done. They've done this over 200 times now. There's no drama, there's no yelling, everybody's working at a very measured pace. Everybody knows exactly what they need to do, but everybody needs to do their job because there's no, no room for error. And now they're grading, they're removing the aggregate from the bottom, excavating just a little bit, getting it nice and smooth. They're cleaning the edges, and then they'll start drilling the dowels in to the surrounding slab to tie in the new slab and then they'll be pouring the concrete. It's multiple processes going simultaneously. We have excavator loading out excess material. We have compacting. We have drying the outside to put on that expansion foam. We have marking out where the dowels need to go. We have double checking grade with the string line. And then now we have the dowel drill already coming in here to start drilling those dowels. So it'll stick in to the existing about halfway and then this will be within that new concrete. It's definitely steel, I've just confirmed it. What they're doing here is they're coring to, they're gonna pull this core out and they're gonna test it to make sure that concrete has the compressive strength and has the right mix when it comes to aggregate and cement that's needed. They've got everything to grade, they've compacted, they have two drills, drilling two dowels, and then there's a crew already using the epoxy and installing those dowels in those new holes. It's almost concrete time. This is a volumetric truck. It makes the concrete as we see it essentially coming out the chute. It has the cement, it has the water, it has the admixtures, it has the aggregate. It all drops down on a conveyor, mixes together, combines with the water and the admixtures, and comes out in theory a nice um, 
consistent mix. This mix is special. It has rapid set cement. It has a retarder, so it actually slows down the rapid set part of the cement for about 45 minutes so they can work with it. And then it has a water reducer to reduce that water. Reduce that water. It is 1.52 in the evening. Concrete's about halfway poured using the volumetric trucks. Concrete on demand. Every truck running the exact same mix. That fast setting, high strength concrete. Once they're all ready, once they're all poured across the area, they'll use that to smooth the surface, to finish the very top of the surface here. And then they'll let it set up for a few hours. There'll be planes on here in just a few hours after that. It's pretty unique work. So that's what it takes to replace concrete that planes drive on to get people around the world. We got here at about 11.30, it's about two o'clock in the morning. They're running the finisher now. They're already finishing the concrete before the pour's even done, but I'm tired. That's too damn bad. I'm cold. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned something. Thanks to I for Civil for having us out. I'm going to bed.